Hi, today we, we, I will talk about Chapter 28, Spatial Relati Relativity. The first thing to talk about the relativity is the reference frames. The simplest frames of reference are those that are not accelerated and are not rotating. Something like uh, a human and keep working with a very constant. Uh, another preference frame is an inertial frame of reference. In the reference frame, it's a preference frame in which the body at rest remains at rest and a body in motion moves at a constant speed in a strange line unless act on by an outside force. Why we consider about the preference frames? Because uh, there are many motion become complicated if we use the preference frames by with us and mostly we use in the physics. For example, when we talk about someone working constantly, is we compare with the Earth. If we compare it in the universe, the, the Earth is rolled around the sun and our sun, our Earth and sun in a Milky Way galaxy. So it's very complicated. Another problem, if a human works in a train or a container and they work constantly, but compared to another person outside and see him, this is different. So. The laws of the physics seem to be similar in the inertial frames. If we only set the person like in the example, it's very simple, like a simple movement. So, uh, that's the reason why we have to shoot the reference frames when we uh, analyze the relative belief in physics. The first postulate of the spatial relative belief is the law of the physics are the same and can be stayed in their simplest form in all inertial frames of reference. This means if a person works in one way with a constant, it is the same if the person works in a chain with a V, a cousin while the chain had acceleration is zero. Both thing is the same. If we know how to choose the good reference frames. The second postulate of the spatial relatively is the speed of the light in case they not is C is cousin independent of the relative motion of the sources. In the second postulate, it destroys the first postulate because C is the speed of light, it constant, but don't depend on any reference frames. In any reference frame, uh, the piece of light own way, own way, own way equal to the 3, 10 th to the 8 meter per second. It means if the light in the vacuum, in here in the vacuum, and the sharp light, the star, and the speed of light equal C. But if the light is 
put on a spaceship or something like this inside normally the speed of light have to equal c plus v of the uh, of the chain but it's not so the spatial case leading to the spatial relative relativity in the physics simultaneity simultaneity is mean two events are defined to be simu simultaneously if an observer measures them as occurring at the same time for example in the picture below we see that a is the shot of light And when A admits it light to left and right, then the mirror, the mirror at both sides. So the light will move with C vector here with the same equal and then come back to the A point at the same time. That to even the light will move to the left or the line move to right occur in the same time so it's called simultaneity but there are some issues when the simultaneity is observed by two viewers in different look position for example if someone view inside a carriage they will see the line moves the same the same way, the same path from left to the right. But if another person who outside the train, outside the train, and they will maybe see the line moving a little bit different. That the reason why the spatial relativity is occurred in the physics, and we study it. For example, this example about the time relation because the speed of light is constant it constant so there's something we change to fix the speed of light and the first term is time deletion is the phenomenon of time passing lower for an observer who is moving relatively to another observer for example, the astronauts in the spaceship we see a light from the mirror up and down here very fast, and here is the time that he said he see. But if another person outside the spaceship see the light, emit the see the light sources, emit light and move back to the mirror to the receiver, it's very different. And that different creating uh, the time relation. In the time relation, we have uh, another term about the proper time. Proper time denotes delta t zero. It is the time measured by an observer at rest relatively to the, the event being observed. In the previous example, this is the, the actioners who in a spaceship and see the light, the emission, and up and down here. This time has several names to distinguish it from the time measured by the earned bar observer is another person who see how, how the light moving in this case is longer. And about the equation we have that the T0 equal to 2D comma C. While the time measured by the Earth bar observer is the delta t equal to 2s divided by the speed of light. Here, here the d and here the s. It's the different way when the different position of the viewer state.
in time relation the relationship between the proper time and the earth about time it expressed in the equation let's see it equal gamma time delta t zero in which gamma equal to one divided by square of the one minus uh, v square over c square and it, in which v is a speak of an object which we are uh, concerned about this and generally in the real life the speak of one object like human or like a uh, car is not very small compared to the speed of life 3 10 to 8 meter per second and we cannot provide the difference between density or density zero it means in the real life the time dilation always occurred but it is really small in the difference between density and density zero so the human can realize it happen in normally but if someone or something can have the speed very little fast compared to the speed of life right now the grammar will maybe larger than one and as a result the earth by observer measure longer time compared to the observer in the rest of with the object and physicists call it time dilation Similar to time dilation, we have the term about the length construction. Uh, length construction denoted L0 is the distance between two points measured by an uh, observation observer who is the relative length to both of the points. And as the picture you see, when we move with the speed not too much, we see the distance not change but if something move really really fast this turn will be sink and it's smaller and smaller that another relativity relativity and the formulation L for the distance is measured by some viewer outside the system not right with the system and L0 is the length measured by the viewer at the position resting with the relief right with the with where the event occur. Another idea in this chapter will analyze the mass energy equivalent. In the equation E equal to mc squared is a very famous equation. But uh, in the relative system, energy E equal to gamma, m, and u. It's both equation. We always realize the m is the mass of an object. And in this case, that happened. According to the equation, if we increase the energy, the internal energy in the object, its, its mass may be increased. And if we reduce the energy, internal energy of a system, that system will be reduce the mass. Okay. So that all for the chapter today. Thank you for listening.